So let's talk spooky TBR. Hi everyone, my name is Julie. This is Keep Calm with Books and Coffee. And today I'm gonna to talk about five books that are on my uh, spooky Halloween fall TBR. And I am not limiting myself to these five books, but I do not uh, have a good track record with TBRs. I am not good at seasonal reading and I have been in quite a bit of a slump recently. So I'm trying to be lenient with myself while also trying to get myself to read these books that I am super excited for. Uh, forgive my glasses today. My eyes have been burning all day. I'm assuming it's fall allergies and I am just not going to put my contacts in. So I have five-ish books to talk about here today that I am excited to read and excited to talk about. So let's jump right into it. So the first ones I have here are two novellas by Freitas Moon. The first is Heart Haunt Havoc and the second is Wolf Willow Witch. These are two in the same series in this first book, which would be a reread for me. The second book has just come out. Uh, the first book we are following Colin, who is a trans exorcist as he goes to a new house to try and exercise some demons uh, that are at that house and things kick off from there. These are both super short novellas. This one was super spooky and super um, very fall vibes like what I want for this time of year and I read it in the summer so I'm hoping I can reread this and then jump into the sequel as well. Uh, really excited about these. That's why I said five-ish because they're novellas so I'm kind of counting them as one and then I have two by one author so this is kind of a general TBR. We'll see, like I said, if I get to all of it. The next is A Witch's Guide to Fake Dating by Sarah Hawley. This is a new purchase for me, I believe, of just a few weeks ago and I am super excited for it. This sounds so cute uh, and all I really know about it is the cover and it's been on a bunch of cozy lists and the title is super cute. So this this just feels appropriate. So hopefully we're gonna get to that one. Then I am trying to uh, balance my like creepy and sweet. So we have the Witch's Guide to Fake Dating as well as the Gideon Testaments which are the Heart Honk Havoc books. And then we have Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher. This is another short one. I'm trying to give myself some grace and choose some shorter books for this TBR because I haven't been reading a lot. I've kind of been in a slump since the end of August. And this sounds really good. I've heard mixed things about it, but I really enjoyed T. King, the one T. Kingfisher I have read, so I'm hoping I enjoy this as well. In this, we're following a woman who goes to check on her sister who has been married off, and uh, I believe she uh, knows that her sister is in a abusive situation, so she's trying to figure out how to help her. I would like to read this a lot. Then I have, I'd like to read one of these books by Grady Hendrix. Uh, this one would probably be preferable because it fits a um, reading challenge prompt that I have from my local bookstore. But uh, I like Grady Hendrix or I've read one Grady Hendrix and I really liked it. So I would really like to read one of these during the like Halloween horror season. Uh, but one of these is on my list, but I don't know which one yet. Hoping this one, but I'm more excited for this one. So we'll see. Then the last one I have here is Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas, which I have heard nothing but good things about. Uh, I believe this is about a trans youth who he is trying to help his family accept his gender and he becomes determined to prove himself as a real brujo and with the help of his cousin and his best friend he performs uh, a ritual himself and then accidentally summons I believe the dead not like his dead relative but instead the dead bad boy of school and like I said I've heard nothing but good things about this and it seems like the perfect time of year to read a ghost story so definitely want to check this out so those are my five-ish books that I would like to read this month I'm not sure if it's going to happen I'm not really participating in any readathons or anything because, I, like I said, I've been slumpy. I've also been so out of touch with the booktube community in the past couple of months. Like, I've just been busy in my own stuff as well as, like, I was participating hardcore in a readathon and then didn't end up making a lot of videos. So it's been a bit of a challenge. But I'm hoping 
that some seasonal reading will get me back in the swing of things before the end of the year. But that is it for me today. If you have any thoughts or feelings or want to share anything about the books that I talked about today, please let me know down below. If you are not feeling like chatting, uh, just leave me a pumpkin emoji for my Halloween TBR. And, but that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see me again, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you next time. Bye.